Just minutes ago, a report on Reddit stated that Ripple has officially settled with the SEC and that Judge Torres does not have to make any ruling anymore. And yes, I'm reporting to this at literally 4 a.m. just because it just came in and I thought might as well show it to you guys. Now this exact post right here has been deleted and I want to thank one of my viewers, Ashley, and when she states that once again Rebel puts this on Reddit and deleted it, they did this on April 1st and now again today. This also comes at the same time that the top Ripple lawyer states that the end date for the Ripple lawsuit is May 6th of 2023. Now this is absolutely insane because it could mean that maybe a settlement has been made and this is what this is about. And then this May 6th date is the announcement to where it's going to be public and everybody's going to find out that Ripple settled with the SEC. And in fact, we're going to jump into an entire article that speaks about this on the potential end date for Ripple versus SEC lawsuit set for May 6th says top lawyer but before we do that i do ask that you guys please share this video smash the like button right now smash the like button because we're trying to hit 500 likes and of course subscribe to the channel with your post notifications as well as drop a comment in the comment section below because i'll be reading and responding to every single comment that being said let's jump right into today's crazy video Another thing that I find extremely crazy is that there's also been reports that said a Ripple SEC meeting scheduled for Monday, April 10th, and so everything possibly could be linked together to which there's going to be a meeting for Ripple and the SEC on Monday, April 10th. Maybe they've already actually settled, and in that meeting on April 10th, they're going to be discussing an agreement date to which they both can announce that they've settled. There's also the Sunshine meeting that we're going to be talking about, so there's a lot of content in today's video. Make sure you watch this video till the end, but let's start off with this article. Potential end date for Ripple vs SEC lawsuit set for May 6th, says top lawyer. Johnny Deaton, a well-known lawyer and an activist for XRP with over 75,000 XRP holders behind him, has stated that the possible end date for the Ripple vs SEC lawsuit is May 6th of 2023. However, he did emphasize that he never gave a drop dead date and that he would be surprised but not shocked if the end date was later than May 6th. Now, I do want to actually give you guys a close attention here. For some reason, it says May 6th of 2022 but again this is some type of grammatical error because even if we look at this article here it was actually posted on april 7th of 2023 and the tweet referenced by johnny dean which is i never said dropped a date there was a previous case where judge doris gave her summary judgment ruling 60 days after her debit decision she issued her debit decision on march 6th 60 days later is may 6th i said i would be surprised but not shocked it was later than may 6th this exact tweet was also posted on april 6th of 2023 so the reference is actually that the may 6th of 2023 date as the likely date for a settlement between Ripple and the SEC. But this is not the only person that believes in settlement. XRP Flare United stated that a settlement between Ripple and the SEC is most likely. That will be good for Ripple, but not so good for the rest of the crypto market. As Brad once said, 90% of crypto are going to go away, and I do believe him best believe. And so settlement seems to be the most probable outcome, and now that we officially have a day of May 6 by a top lawyer, makes life so much easier. The May 6 date also coincides with the SEC United States Securities and Exchange Commission closed meeting which is going to take place on April 13th of 2023 and now you guys may not know or you may know this is a Sunshine Act notice meeting and even though this isn't a guaranteed thing that they're going to be discussing Ripple and the SEC and the Sunshine Act notice meeting is something that occurs often throughout the SEC's calendar this specific date of April 13th coincides perfectly with all the dates of possible settlement in fact not only does it coincide with the meeting between SC and Ripple on April 10th and the May 6th settlement top lawyer statement, but the federal government is also going to be questioning Mr. Gary Gensler on the 18th of April. And so all of this could be happening in which they go ahead and actually discuss Ripple and the SEC and how they can resolute this lawsuit, or at least how can they announce this lawsuit to public if they have already completed a lawsuit agreement or a settlement agreement. Of course, keep in mind that the subject matter is going to be settlements, so that is a very likely possibility to which they're going to be discussing how can we resolute the lawsuit if we haven't? And if we have, when are we going to allow the non-disclosure to end so that we can disclose that yes, we have settled with the SEC or yes, we have settled with the... Now, before we further into the video, I want to remind you guys of MetalCrypto.com, where you can buy your own personalized Metal Crypto coin, like this very nice Ripple XRP coin with case and the new style XRP coin with case. They actually come in gold and or silver, so you can decide that one and choose which style you actually like. There's also have a bunch of other crypto coins like USDT, Stellar XLM, Shiba Inu, Cardano, Polkadot, Ethereum, and a load of other cryptocurrencies. So make 
sure you guys do check them out, metalcrypto.com. And if you do use the link in the description, you're going to get yourself 10% off. That being said, let's get right back into this crazy video. After doing a ton of research, I uncovered this statement by the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler, back in 2018, in which he said that you can use blockchain, but you need a bridge currency in between. And that bridge could be a stable value that's backed by the US dollar or the euro, or it could be a currency like Ripple has as an alternative. In this statement, not only does he talk good about Ripple, but he states the fact that number one, it's going to be a stable value for XRP and that XRP is not a security and he deemed it as a cryptocurrency, comparing it to the US dollar and to the Euro. So BitBoy, also known as Ben Unstrong, has just dropped his crazy XRP price prediction. And even though we may disagree on the exact price of XRP, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clip for you guys so that you guys get to hear what he believes the price of XRP is actually going to be in the short while. So, of course, well, let's roll the clip. Let's get serious here. XRP, this sure. coin has not made all-time highs since January of 2018. It's been yep. memed. It's been made fun of. Community's been made fun of. We're all stupid for believing. Are we stupid for believing in XRP? What price prediction can you give the XRP army to make them feel like they don't want to jump off a bridge? Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, first of all, if you're in the XRP army, put the X's up, put the X's in the chat, X, Y, and Z, and don't jump off a bridge. That's step number one. If you want to see XRP to get to its all-time high, you have to stay alive. That's, that's the first part of this whole thing. Secondly, so I did some extensive research. I went on several, several, 10, you know, probably more like 20 different websites looking at projected XRP um, price predictions yes. for the top of the bull market, which is pro projected to be, you know, November, December, 2025. Fair. And to my surprise, the average price prediction was only a dollar and 71 oh. cents across guess. about 20 other websites, which is far too conservative, far yeah. too conservative. I mean, the highest price for 2025 I found was uh, $3 and two cents on Coinpedia. I mean, I, no, I think this is great. I think this is great, AJ. Why? Because you and I talked about this when we decided yes. that it was time to charter the price prediction department. We went through yep. all the right protocols. We, of course, have a board. We have all the proper onboarding documents. Um, we got all the yep. disclaimers. Uh, all now, the you, are, you are a financial advisor now, right? Just don't answer that. Uh, Just leave the people in and wondering. Just leave them in wondering. And I told you, I said, it's amazing. It's so common sense. But for some reason, it's common sense. But for some reason, none of these places factor in the four-year cycle. Not at all. It's not, crazy. not even a little bit. And, the, and yeah. I kind of feel like their prediction is based off the idea that XRP is going to lose this case. And oh, if you man. think XRP is going to lose this case, why are you... What? No. That doesn't make any sense. No. X, there's so many more factors that are going to happen here. First of all, XRP has one of if not the most bullish community the all of the bulls are in the xrp army are you no all debating bullish? that whatsoever are you all bullish on this xrp coin, in the chat. this coin literally bounced in like a matter of days like 55 percent, 55 percent pump in in like a week like not even like xrp has that the as ivan on tech would say the pumpamentals okay and and what I'm seeing here, XRP is going to win the case. XRP is going to IPO. And when this happens, XRP is going to explode. It completely explode. My price prediction for XRP for the top of the bull run for me is probably 9 to $11. Okay. But Ben, you, yesterday in our conversation, you yeah. think it's going to be higher. Can you explain that? Well... Uh, yeah, I can actually. So look, I'm not fully ready to commit to a price. I think the way we should really be looking at these is in ranges. Now, I think AJ's range yeah. is is good there for what we can expect. I think most of us would expect in between a nine and eleven, uh, you know, dollar XRP. That's only less than a four X from its all time high. Um, it yeah. didn't get the, the all time high last time because of the suppression. So I think it's set up really nicely. The charts looking really bullish. And this will make new all-time highs, which means it's got to go at least probably to $4. And it's not going to stop there, I don't think, if this case is over. So in my opinion, you have two outcomes here. One is 
They win the case. It's a settlement. They get some kind of bad stuff on them from that. Maybe they're not able to IPO right away. Uh, maybe the company itself has to, you know, do some steps to pay some penance, but maybe not. Maybe they went outright. If Ripple wins outright and there is no appeal, by the way, there's no appeal. They just went outright. And then Ripple announces after the after Coinbase relisted, of course, that they're going to IPO in the next one to two years. They should wait until the bull run. If they wait oh, until yeah. the bull run to IPO as well, they do it next year. Maybe right after the having it might be great. But look, yep. I mean, I, I stick with what I said last year. I mean, or, or for the last uh, bull run, excuse me. I, I think it's, I think $25 is not out of the question. I know it's high. I know it's high. But TJ, it's, it's not as high as you think it is. So there you have it. The XRP price prediction by BitBoy is $25. Now I don't want to make this video too long, so I want to end off this video by telling you guys to please hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at CryptoGeekYT. Follow me on Twitter at CryptoGeekNews. All my social media links are down below. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.